Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all bros where I'm from, man. I'm from that. What's it about? Y'all didn't know. Big boss hog, boss dog, cake poke through the dope. Hit us out this box and before I get in my soliloquy. Remember, tough times don't last. Good people do. Don't off yourself. Caught up in that high line. Remember, you matter. Peak game. Peak game. 80 foes on what? Swang. How y'all doing, man? It's a beautiful Saturday. Your boy out here rolling around. Gonna head to the gym. Um, I thought I'd drop some content. I was on Instagram and on BoxingNews24.com, right? So shout out to BoxingNews24.com. I get a lot of my articles from them, you know what I mean? Uh, they write very good articles, in my opinion, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm going to post a link in the description. L. Spence put a story on his Instagram, right? And he had Michael Kenneth Williams, aka Omar Little from the show The Wild, walking. Right? With a gun in his hand. I believe it was a gun. And he got a blunt in the other hand. Or I believe it was a blunt, or maybe it's just a cigarette. I don't know. I gotta really look at it. But he just walking. And he walking, and boys are scattering like roaches. And L. Spence put on that 154 to 160. I like that energy. And I think that's his weight class. I think El Spitz can fight at 54 and 160. You know what I'm saying? Now, according to Robert, uh, I think it's Robert Diamond. Is that, is that how you say his name? If I'm butchering your name, my apologies. Uh, according to his article on the BoxingNews24.com, he said El Spitz, him being 34 years of age, you know, um, fighting at 160 may be better for Errol. You know what I'm saying? It may be a good thing for Errol Spence, you know, when you reach a certain age, you get in your 30s, it's kind of hard for you to cut weight or lose weight. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he said fighting at 160 may be good for Errol. But he also said this. Terrence Crawford's win against Errol is not aging well. I was like, hmm. <laughs> he said Terrence Crawford's win against Errol ain't aging well. So when he said that in the article... I immediately stopped reading. I'm like, what is, what do you mean it's not aging well? Like, I don't, I'm not tracking. In the article, and I'm going to post, this is the article. This is not me. This is the article, okay? Then I'm going to give my opinion. According to the article, he sat there and said, it shows that L. Spence was weakened in that Terrence Crawford fight. And he said that in the article, he said, due to Terrence Crawford's performance against my dream off, right? And I said, mm, might be on or something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you. Now, you know boss don't make excuses. So, I give Terrence Crawford 10,000% credit on his win against Earl Spence. But, it do, I do see what this report is talking about. Not gonna lie to you. I do see that you know, hey, it just goes to show you. Might be on to something. Because he sat there and said, hey, look. Basically, what he's saying is Terrence Crawford didn't look as indestructible, right? At 154. That power was getting to him. Now, granted, Terrence Crawford showed tre tremendous heart in a lot of those rounds. You know what I'm saying? I still feel like he didn't do enough to win. But he showed a lot of heart. There were rounds where he was getting some combination punches off at the end of rounds and stuff like that. But... You know, he had his hands in his pocket, just like my dream I've had his hands in his pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, he says, according to the, the reporter, he said, hey, it, sh it looks like Terrence Crawford fought a very weight-drained and weakened Errol Spence. I said, mm. <laughs> I said, oh, uh, oh. No, now those his words, not mine. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say I believe it. You know what I mean? I get Terrence Crawford credit. He won the fight. It's nothing. Me, I go off of facts. I go off what I can prove. I can't prove if El Spitz was way drained. He looked like it. You know what I'm saying? But I can't prove it. I'm not, I'm not him. I wasn't in his body. I don't know. Paul's no diddy. 
That was crazy. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So he the only one that can answer those questions. And me knowing who Errol Spence is, just based off what I see, he ain't gonna say anything about how he felt. Cause he ain't look he don't want it to look like he making excuses. You know what I'm saying? But it's according to the reporter. Now, that reporter also said that Errol Spence, if he fights at 160, there's some big fights there. He could fight the winner of Danny Garcia, Errol's 90 Lara. He could fight Carlos Adams. He could fight Janabek. And there's another fighter that he could fight that I can't pronounce his name. Yeah, it's at 160. I'm not even going to attempt to because I, I can't. So, it's it's a, it's, a, it's some fights at 160. It's fights at 154. You get what I mean? So, we shall see what L. Spence does. You know, L. Spence don't have a trainer right now. Uh, you know, him and Derek James are having a legal issue. And who knows? It may be a temporary legal issue. They may be able to rekindle and, and start working back together. Who knows? We don't know. L. Spence is very secretive about how he moves. He don't let people know what he's thinking, what he's feeling, or anything like that. He just make moves, and then you be like, dang, okay. You know what I mean? But a lot of his moves that he make, some of them I agree with, some of them I don't. But at the end of the day, it's made him the successful fighter that he is today. You get what I mean? Um, but my opinion is this. If L. Spence come back and he back to Mr. Big Fish, it's going to be some problems at 154 for a lot of fighters. I'm just saying that right now. Now, the Fondura fight, I don't know what's going on with it. You know, um, hopefully that fight still is going to happen. That's a tough fight for Aaron. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a tough fight for anybody at 54. I don't know why. And I keep saying this, and I'm going to keep saying it. Don't know why people are overlooking Sebastian Fondura like he trash. Like the dude can fight, bro. He's tough. He can fight. He's 6'6". Six, six. He's, he's learning how to utilize his boxing ability, his length. He's learning how to do all that. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason why. How he used to fight, as far as giving up his height, he's learning to box and use his jab. That's what he should be able to do against Errol Spence. Errol got to figure out a way how to get around that jab and get inside and work. That's what Errol got to do. You know what I'm saying? It's a very tough fight for Errol Spence. I'm not going to say a lot to you, right? But I remember in the past, past video, I said, I don't know who wins that fight. But the more I think about it, I think it's a winnable fight for both guys. I would favor Errol Boss. A smidgey, right? A smidgey, right? But that boy, Fondura, is nothing to play with. You know what I'm saying? He's nothing to play with. He ain't no slouch. If Errol go in there playing, he can easily beat Errol Spence. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to you. But I would favor Errol. I want Errol to win because Errol Spence winning is good for boxing, right? I'm not going to lie to you. It's good for boxing. It makes more competitive fights. It makes a lot of big fights happen at a new weight class. If Errol Spence is able to win that fight, he they can make an Errol Spence versus Eric Lupin. I love that fight. i am tell you, that's a big fight to me. L. Spence versus Erickson Lubin, man, come on, dog. That's like, <laughs> you know, that's like a pure boxing head fight. Like, I would love the two soft paws. You know what I'm saying? Man, come on, man. They, 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 they got that dog in them. Like, <laughs> boy, I tell you, I would love that fight. L. Spence, Brian Castano. L. Spence, Brian Mendoza. L. Spence versus Tim Zoo. I would love. That fight right there is a mega fight. L. Spence versus Tim Zhu is a mega fight. You know what I'm saying? That's a mega fight. Like, that's a... Like I say, L. Spence winning is good for boxing. It's good for the division of 154 because now you can make a lot of big fights happen, right? Because L. Spence is able to be that cash cow and he's a name. He's coming up. And he'll be able, if he's able to get through Fandura, I'm telling you, that man gonna fight all them dudes. I'm telling you that. He gonna look to fight all of them. I'm telling you this. He not looking to do that Terrence Crawford stuff where he like, I only wanna fight Canelo, that's it. 
All you other dudes are peasants. All you other dudes are beneath me. Blah, blah, blah. I did this back in 1927. Nobody cares, bro. You need to update your resume. You had a new weight class. Update your resume, right? That's what I wanted for Terrence Crawford. I thought Terrence Crawford, he beat L. Spence. Cool. This is the start of a new trend. He going to fight top competition. And he just, oh, I only want Canelo. Uh, if it's not Canelo, I don't, I don't care. I don't want to fight. I don't. I, what boots? Who is that? What has he done? This is Terrence Crawford. Boots? Who is that? What has he done? Is that that guy we offered him to fight twice? He can't hit too much. He's not ready. He's a good little fighter. He's a good little fighter, but he can hit too much. You know, if I land something on him, it's gonna be a good night. Well, let's see it then. I want to see it. I want to see you give him a good night shot. I want to see you bop, boop, boop, bop, beep, bop, bow. I want to see that. You know what I'm saying? All that talking about it, that's cool. You may be able to do it. I'm not going to lie to you. But we want to see it. That's what that's, that's, I want. I want to see it. You know what I mean? See, with Terrence Crawford... He plays his role of villain. He plays his role of boogeyman. And then when he finally gets to the top, uh, you're beneath me. Nah, bro. If you like that, you go where the smoke is at. I've been telling y'all, ask me a lot of words. Now watch this. L. Spence, and if, if, and that's a big if, all right? I ain't finna sit here and cap, be like, oh yeah, man, he gonna steal on for Durham. Nah, I'm a fan of boxing, not fighters. If he beats Sebastian Fandura, or even if that fight happens, you know, he, he may not get the Fandura fight. He may have to come back and fight somewhere else. But if he beats Fandura, watch him fight top guys. Watch him be like, uh, uh, Eric Salubri, let's get it. I'm willing to give you a title shot. Let's go. Watch him be like, hey, Mendoza, let's get it. Tim Zoo, let's unify. Like I'm telling you, that's what he gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And what does that do? If L. Spence is able to win, if. That's many opportunities for the 154 pound division. A lot of fighters get to make a lot of money. It's good for boxing. You know what I'm saying? And it's entertaining. Because how many fights in boxing have we watch lately that has been entertaining. Not that many. Right? Even the Terrence Crawford fight, as great as a skillful fighter as he was, that was like a tactical fight. It wasn't really entertaining. You got know what I mean? It was like, for pure boxing heads, yeah, you liked it, but like I say, where fighters make money at is bringing in a casual fan. Right? L. Spence brings in the casual fan. Right? Just like the right to take Davis brings in the casual fan. Right? That's what they do. Terrence Crawford has pure boxing heads. He's cool with that audience. You know what I mean? And it's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, Boots is kind of dibbling, dibbling, dabbling in both now. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, man, who was that? I had a dude tell me at uh, work the other day, man, who was that dude, bro, from Philadelphia? Uh,. Roots, what's his name? I saw you talking about boots, Jim Boots. Yeah, man, I saw some highlights of that boy. That boy going off. So he kind of, he kind of, you know, you know. Now, granted, Eddie Hearn is kind of messing it up for him. You know, Boots would be a mega star if he wasn't signed to Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna be real with you. Eddie Hearn don't know what he's doing with Boots. You know what I'm saying? Boots is a Corvette left in the garage. It, 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 it can't get out and perform on the road because Eddie Hearn don't know how to start it. That's, that's Boots, right? But to get back on topic, L. Spence say, man, I'm coming back, right? He didn't say that, but he put 154 to 160. Y'all look out for me because I'm coming. Pause. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Pause gone.